just move maybe was labor was mentioned there advice maybe from Kevin from, from CPL wants to give us just a, a word on that and then I want to respond to some stuff yeah, no worries <coughs> I mean the, the company that myself and Hugh work for um, CPL is the island of Ireland's uh, largest recruitment company it's a 400 million turnover operation uh, we have offices right across Europe but uh, just um, I suppose the bit that I'm interested in is, is just what Stephen touched on um, they're, they're really, we can see a sort of skills shortage, uh, particularly in, in sort of engineering and IT. And the feeling that we would have maybe sitting, working for the, uh, the company in the north of Ireland is that maybe down south, uh, we can see a lot more sort of, uh, sort of Eastern European candidates, etc., etc., coming across and, and uh, being employed. Um, we're really in competition with those. I mean, I was just listening to Hayes Recruitment, who are a global recruitment firm, were on the radio this morning. And next year, 84% of employers that they have surveyed in the south of Ireland, this is the 26 counties, 84% expect to hire next year. Um, so I think the sort, of, the, the, the sort of challenge is we've got a bit of a skills deficit. Um, if you haven't got the sort of people here, you have to bring them from overseas. If our neighbouring country is almost at pre-boom levels, if that makes sense. Uh, particularly, they have, I think, per, I don't know for a fact, but I get the impression that the Irish government have made a bit of a, a better play to go and attract people from, from European countries to come across. I would just be a bit concerned, maybe Stephen, I, I don't know what, if you would share that concern, because <clears throat> uh, look, at the end of the day, it's all, you know, it's, Bill Clinton said it's the economy stupid, it's, I suppose in, in any business, it's people stupid, you know, you need people to run a business. I mean, is, is there a concern that, the perception of these Eastern Europe, you made the comment that somebody might leave Northern Ireland but come back to Ireland. Would that be a concern that some of your members can assure that that that's, if they do come back, to, or, or they'll be more attracted to go to the south of Ireland maybe than, than, than here? Uh, th those are, that's a direct quote yeah. from, from uh, one of our employers here in Mid-Ulster actually, yeah. a company employing a thousand and fifty people, so they're not an insignificant small firm in many yeah. ways. Uh, and, and it is a, a big challenge. I'll, I'll give you very briefly a kind of response that people are doing. Just, just next door at, at Korea, they were really struggling in terms of uh, CAD operators. Uh, so they do big kind of concrete products and most of their business is in GB rather than uh, on the island of Ireland. Uh, and they've struggled for, for quite a while. And what they've done is actually put a challenge out to the rest of the workforce to talk to colleagues, friends, family, cousins, whatever the case may be, and they set up their own academy, and now they're training their own people. Uh, and that's the type of response that people are, are having to get to. They're using non-traditional recruitment uh, because they just can't see that uh, that flow of, of people coming through. Uh, before it would have been easier, they would have just went and, and maybe put an ad and, or used one of the agencies to bring some people in from uh, other parts of Europe. Uh, and that worked out exceptionally well for them, but now they've had to adapt and do things differently. Uh, and and th that's just one example of the type of creative responses that people are having to do because of that skills challenge. Well, I'll back up what Linda uh, was saying there. Um, we're, we're seeing, uh, I'm sure Hugh will agree, probably um, an increase in the amount of, so we can measure, so our KPIs would be the amount of jobs that, that we bring in from companies. So that, that has definitely probably gone up maybe 10, 20% over the last while. Um, there is, I think, a real, uh, Linda, as you've said, a sort of we've gone through tough times. That you know, I think there's a good, a sort of strong, resolute determination to do well. I mean, you know, as most people know, in the Coal Island area, you've got the Silicon Valley of, of sort of crushing and screening machinery and stuff like that. That stable know very well. We do a lot of business with those guys. Um, so it hasn't stopped companies wanting to increase and take people on. I, However, I do get the impression that it's maybe it's, it's more of a, um, a selfish thing, if you like. Recruiters need people to be wanting to get new jobs and move on. <laughs> and we are finding people a little bit hesitant now about leaving. There is an uncertainty. If that, so you know, I think for all companies to do well, there needs to be a bit of a flux in the market where people move, etc., etc., because it's not always easy just to bring someone from overseas. So we are noticing briefly a, a lot of candidates, I would say, very hesitant about staying. You know, there's a little bit of uncertainty. When there's uncertainty, people don't like to sort of, you know, play, you know if I move into go from company A to company B, all of a sudden two years down the line, if they're not doing well, first in, last out, that kind of idea. So uh, there, there's good positivity out there, but 
I would have to say we're in serious competition with down south. I mean, salaries, opportunities. I mean, this week alone, there's been a thousand jobs created down south. There's been something like 25, 30,000 jobs created this year. Now, maybe people will tell me, do they actually become real jobs? Is, is a different matter, but um, it is a positive story out there. Uh, there is a skill shortage in IT and engineering. My concern is long term is, uh, you know, if you haven't got the talent locally, you've got to go and attract it. If we're no longer part of Europe, does that uh, proposition become much, much less attractive? I think 